What's happening to road dogs and highway hound? Whoop, whoop, happy Friday morning. <laughs> Haven't been making many videos and uh, I've just been real busy. <laughs> but uh, things are happening and uh, I'm hopefully gonna be getting back in a truck pretty soon. That's what I've been saying forever, but you know, well, let's just talk about Bitcoin and Litecoin. Different ways of investing in Bitcoin and Litecoin. Out of the box thinking, okay? Uh, what I'm doing with, with this company is investing in Bitcoin and Litecoin in a roundabout way. I'm using my skills as a truck driver and a leader and I mean the thing here's the thing Bitcoin and Litecoin fit into this industry very well I'm building this business and I will utilize Bitcoin and Litecoin in it because they are the gold and silver of cryptocurrency. Simple, straightforward, been around since the beginning. Both of them have. Uh, and uh, we know that Charlie Lee's purpose in leading or in uh, creating Litecoin was uh, because there are so many scams out there and ripoffs. And that's something you got to be thinking about when you are investing in these altcoins. You really got to be careful. Ethereum, the biggest one, or you know, one of the big ones, because you know it's on Coinbase, which I think is a mistake. That was pre-mined. Eighty percent of the supply was pre-mined, and people are investing in it, and they don't understand this. But it's just there's a lot of you know, and I don't know how you define a scam or just a bad release or whatever. Um, but that's what's good about Bitcoin and Litecoin is that they are the gold and silver. You know, the agenda was to be fair for Litecoin. And it's just, you know, it takes the simple the uh, complexity out of out of things now i had a guy here the shadow i don't know if you're watching but you know he was talking he likes a certain altcoin but he's also talking about the private blockchains and how they can be utilized inside a company like lfs and I, I like the concept of a private blockchain for internal use inside the company. Um, and then things that are for public knowledge can be posted. You know, you could do, do your tracking or whatever inside of a private blockchain and then log the results on a public blockchain like Bitcoin and Litecoin so that people could actually get in there and see what's going on. Now, another thing I've thought about with with this is, you know, a lot of people like the privacy coins, but one of the things that Bitcoin is revolutionary with is the fact that everything is open and traceable. And for companies, like if this was, this is, at this point, my company is private. It's owned by me, me alone. And, you know, that's the way it is. But if, a, if, I take, if I were to take this company public and you could buy shares in it, then it would be beneficial to you to have an open ledger to see where the money's going and how it's being managed. You know, like right now it's mine personally, so it's none of your business, right? 
But if you're investing in the company, it is your business. It's all about your business. It is your business. That's what owning shares in a company are, you know, and, and so often they, the uh, rights of ownership are relinquished to Wall Street hedge fund managers, uh, kind of like the ones that are in R3 and uh, Ethereum. These in, you, you basically, when you invest in a mutual fund, you give over your rights. I'd really like to learn more about T0 and Patrick Byrne and what he's doing. I just don't have the time. Um, but, you know, I would like for this company to go public because I'm really not doing this for the money. I'm just passionate about things that I believe in. And, you know, I just, I'm passionate about Bitcoin and Litecoin and the revolution, revolutionary thing that, that they bring to the table. It's, it's a new concept and, you know, it's just, it, it's mind blowing, sorry. I've got a lot of things on my mind this morning, but, uh, but I wanted to make a video to you guys because I haven't talked to you for a while, but I wish I could tell you the things that are happening um, but I'm more protective of, of, uh, information than that. Just, I don't know why, because I can't see all the variables of what possibly could go wrong. And, uh, so I just keep it to myself, but I will, you want a tour? You want to tour this place? How much time do I got left? I could take you for a quick tour. You want to go for a ride? Yes, you want to go for a ride. So, anyway, so here is the office. Nobody's here yet. I've been, uh, I've been, uh, well, the couches are messed up, but I've been scatterbrained. No, I'm, uh, I've been working early, staying late, pulling all nighters. It's just, I get, excited about this stuff yeah I'm not gonna show you that one that side there's a big warehouse over there that a former employer of mine has trusted me to uh, rent out this whole building really and uh, this is gonna be a shop office for the mechanics and stuff like that I've got a uh, certified mechanic coming Monday because I got a buddy who's got an engine overhaul he needs here's the shop big doors I'm on 10 acres I'm on 10 acres of land I got plenty of drop space if you look out out the window here you see all that and we're doing things we're working with the Chamber of Commerce we got a licensed customs broker on staff I'm trying to get all the ducks in the row for uh, uh, being a full-fledged customs brokerage house freight forwarder uh, freight broker right now we're simply a freight broker but we've got a lot of potential in the uh, international trade things that I'm not gonna make public right now but we're working closely with the Chamber of Commerce and uh, a lot of big uh, big companies that uh, and possibly governmental institutions and I'll leave it at that but there's a lot going on and uh, you guys have been with me. I don't know, how long have you guys been with me? Write down in the comments. It's a long time no see, guys. I'm just uh, I'm real busy. It's a lot of work setting up a business. It's a pain in the butt. I had no idea. But, um, yeah, I don't know, really know what to say. I'm sorry, I don't script these things. I just uh, go off the cuff. But I just haven't talked to you guys for a while, and I wanted to make a quick video to say hello and then I can get back to work and
plan my meeting for next Friday, which is going to be a big one. So Friday morning next week. I wish I could tell you, but I can't. <laughs> Adios, muchachos.